Today I'm going to be talking about Network Function Virtualization NFV Basically breaks down to virtualizing network functions Network functions such as routers firewalls load balances and so on But why virtualize and why NFE? The traditional way of building data centers is using vendor specific uh, purpose built servers which are expensive, tedious to build and slow deployment process upgrades to perform upgrades and scale in, scale out and etc. NFE resolves the issue by decoupling the software from the hardware. NFE basically uh, simply requires the x86 hardware with storage and switching to virtualize all the networking functions uh, to form a cloud data center. NFE has been a concept until ETSI, European Telecommunication Standard Institute, has standardized the NFE architecture. NFE architecture, uh, on a very high level, has four major components. NFEI, VNF, MANO, OSS, and BSS component. Now let's talk about each of these components in a little more detail. NFEI, the building block for the NFE environment. Uh, NFEI is basically a resource pool of hardware and virtual resources for the NFE environment. For the divides itself into three major components, hardware resources, virtualization layer, and virtualized resources. Hardware resources are the uh, hardware compute, hardware network, and hardware storage resources, like RAM, servers, and NAS. So hardware resources basically provide the hardware compute power. And now talking about the virtualization layer, virtualization layer lets the software progress independently from the hardware. Uh, tools such as KVM, KEMU, VMware, and OpenStack can be used as a virtualization layer. Uh, virtualized resources are the virtual compute, virtual network, and virtual storage resources. Uh, NFEI basically provides a building block for the NFE, the overall NFE environment. Now moving on to our next topic, VNF. VNF are the virtualized network functions. VNFs are the building blocks for the NFE environment. Uh, basically, VNFs are the outcome of the NFE implementation. Multiple virtualized network functions map together in a process called service chaining provide a seamless, fully functional network communication services. Moving on to a third topic, MANO layer. MANO means management and network orchestrator. Further divides itself into three layers, three parts. VIM, virtualized infrastructure manager. VNF manager. And orchestrator. Virtual infrastructure manager basically manages the interactions of the VNF, virtual network functions, with the NFEI resources. VNF manager manages the life cycle of a VNF instance. Starting from initiate, update, query, scale, and terminate. Orchestrator is responsible for policy management, KPI monitoring, and orchestration of the VNFs. The last and the final component of the NFE architecture is the OSS BSS layer. OSS BSS layer is the operations support system, 
and the business support system. Operations support systems such as network management, fault management, and etc. Business support system deals with customer management, billing management, and revenue management. To summarize, NFE provides a low cost, accelerated deployment for the network administrators uh, for a seamless, fully functional networking communication services. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something.